Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from Holsinger's Fly Shop again with you with another nymph pattern again. Um, this one, we're going to call this one the Rainbow Bright Fly. This is my version of the Rainbow Bright. And this is another jig fly, another competition style jig fly. Going to tie it on a size 14 this time. Tie it as smaller, as big as you want. Um, 16 would be great. If you can even tie it down into the 18s, that would be even nicer. Um, I'm going to start out with some orange thread, fluorescent orange actually, and actually I'm going to come back and I'm going to put some wire on here first, there we go, and the wire, what we're putting the lead wire, this is .015 lead wire, and like I always say at the shop we also carry the lead free wire, so if your area you're required to use the lead free, we have it for you. And I'm going to put about seven or eight wraps there. Just enough to weight it down a little extra. But the main thing, the main purpose of this is to push up against that head to hold that bead in place. And it also will add some taper to your fly. So we're just going to come back and wrap this down a little bit for right now. And now we're going to put our tail on. For the tail, as with most of these check nymph style flies, I'm going to use some Cocktailion Medium Pardo. It's just a nice mottled looking feather. Just, and uh, stiff barbs, which makes a nice tail feature. And we're just going to use about six or so fibers. And try to, when you pinch them down, try to keep all the tips the same length so you get a nice even tail. And we're going to tie the tail in approximately the length of the fly it's a hair long so we'll shorten it up there we go and then we're just going to wrap it back to the bend and then once we get it wrapped back there to the bend I'm going to come underneath all those fibers with one wrap and I'm going to pull one wrap up just to hold those fibers up into place and then we're going to wrap this down and we're going to smooth out a little bit here the body and the lead <clears throat> okay the next thing I'm going to add is some gold brassy sized ultra wire and we're just going to wrap that on. I usually wrap it on the my side. That way I can control it a little bit better when I put it on. And I'm going to wrap that just shy of the tail there. And the reason I'm wrapping it just shy is because I want to leave a little bit of this orange as a little hot spot on the tail. Okay, next thing I'm going to use is some rainbow crystal flash. And this is where the body is made on this fly. So I'm going to take one strand of the rainbow crystal flash and what I usually like to do is just come up underneath pull this up on top and then even it out oops there we go and then get it up on top and then I'll wrap it back to where I want it now I have two strands it'll wrap on there a little bit thicker for me and give me a little bit more control. Now, just going to wrap this forward. And like I said, I'm leaving a little orange spot back there at the back. Now, these are two sided. This crystal flash is a two sided thing. Like, for instance, where I'm wrapping now, one side is gold, the other side is blue. As you go on up a little bit, it's going to be like purple and gold or something like that. I forget. But as you go up, it's going to change colors. And so I'm actually going to come back a little bit here so I can get a little bit of that color change into it. There we go. Now I'm getting some of that purple. So I can get a couple colors. There it starts out gold, goes into blue, and they're into purple. All in one fly. So one of the things about this fly is you can tie a dozen different, you can tie a dozen patterns, dozen flies of it, and it's going to come out a dozen different ways just because of the way the the crystal flash is made okay now I'm gonna reverse wrap this with the gold 
to A, hold it in place and strengthen that up so the fish don't tear it up as much. You could get away with just doing that. Um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, head cement or, in my case, UV glue on there just to protect it. I like the UV glue. It works a lot faster, especially when you tie a bunch. So I'm using UV Fly Finish Flow. And I'm just going to just put a little dab on it. And then make sure it gets the whole way around nice and even. And of course, here's where the rotary vise comes in handy. You can keep rolling around there. You can see the UV, how it makes it glow, that spot at the back here. So, if you're into the UV stuff, that UV thread's really nice. Now, the last thing I'm going to put on is the collar. For the collar on this, I'm going to use a peacock eye. One of the hurls off the peacock eye, the one I'm using is actually a fluorescent, or not fluorescent, but just orange. And when it wraps on, it, it gives it a orangish brown color look, which I kind of like. Go with the natural if that's what you have. So we're just going to wrap this up, make a nice looking color there. and tie it off and that's all that's to this little fish catcher now when we tie this off we're gonna end up using the reason why we use the orange thread is that way we have a hot spot at the front and the back so make a little bit of a collar with this don't like to go too big but I like to make it visible so there's a nice little orange collar at the front and like I said, just enough at the back that it's noticeable back there. That's it. There it was, like five minutes of me tying in that. That's all that took. And I was talking through it, or I could have tied it quicker. So give this fly a try. A couple simple materials to tie it. I'm sure you'll like it. The hook is a H450BL size 14 Hannock hook. The bead is a 764 tungsten slotted in gold. Use whatever color you have. Uh, try this in different colors, like Use your peacock crystal flash, um, ice blue, or whatever the blue color is. Uh, you know, try experiment with different things. This is just a neat looking little pattern there with the how it mixes colors up. So give it a try, and thanks for watching as always. I'm Sean Holsinger from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Go to our website so you can order the materials to get this. And thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.